Hello ladies and gents and welcome to week three of our fabulous English 101 class. This week is a little less of a mad pace than last week, so you made it through last week. Congratulations. Good work. This week we're going to slow down and start thinking about writing our essays, start thinking about what components are important in the drafting and creation of an essay, and how we can use those ideas to kind of scaffold into building something that's really compelling and really effective. So we've got a lot of great things we're working on this week. Uh, you are finishing the book. Hooray! I cannot wait to hear what you guys think about the end. Like, I love the end. The first time I read this book, I was like, mind blown at the end. It was amazing. Um, so hopefully you also enjoy that ending. Hopefully you enjoy the... Oh, the moral gray area that Agatha Christie leaves the reader in and leaves Poirot in because there's this culmination of the case. We find out who the culprit or culprits are in the murder of Ratched. And we're kind of left confused about how to deal with that information because we kind of feel like, you know, Ratchet deserved to die to some extent because he was a very bad man and he killed children. And like, we can all agree that that's not okay. Yeah, like you should stop doing that. So most of us would probably feel very okay with him being brutally murdered. Like I have two kids, somebody hurt my kids. I would probably be willing to do illegal things. Don't quote me on that if I <laughs> ever end up in court. Uh, but I kind of get where the character or characters are coming from when they decide to murder Ratchet. So then we're left with like, should those people be punished? Because we can also agree that murder's bad. Like even if you've got good reasons, like stabbing someone that many times seems like literally overkill. Haha, -ha, joke. Because he's dead, but like they made him more dead. Uh <laughs> So we're left in like this this quandary. We've got all these questions. We're like, what do we make of this? Should these people be punished? Should they get off scot-free? Because we kind of agree with what they did. It's very confusing. Poirot is very confused. The reader is meant to be confused at the end to question what the right choice is and what does justice actually look like. So good things to grapple with. Big questions to think about in terms of like the human condition and our psychology and our moral compass and our beliefs about right and wrong and good and bad. Like these are big things to ponder. So Agatha Christie asks us to ponder those at the end of the book. So after you've pondered for a moment today, when you finish the book, we are going to be looking at the essay prompt and then we're gonna jump into practicing. So you're gonna watch a recorded lecture on the essay prompt tomorrow, and then you're going to attempt a thesis for that essay. I'm gonna be giving you feedback on these thesis statements so that you can see if you're on the right track. Um, and then it'll give you a good foundation to then build an outline and then you build your essay. So you're gonna be writing the first draft of this essay in uh, the last days of this week. And everything you need to be successful on this assignment is located in the modules tab for you. So let's go there now. In our class, we have finished the diagnostic essay. If you ever need help with writing, if you want help with the drafting process of this essay, please set up an appointment with the e-tutoring, either e-tutoring online or you can use the in-person uh, resources on campus. Amazing folks in the CBC Writing Center and in the uh, academic support services, they can help you brainstorm, they can help you outline, they can help you draft, they can help you once you've got a draft and you want to make it even better. These guys are amazing. Please use that resource if you want some support. Uh, here is project one folder. We watched through all of this good stuff in contextual information. We've got all the supporting materials here. We've looked at most of those. I would highly recommend using the psychological approach to revenge and justice as one of your sources in this essay. You're gonna need two sources. One of the sources absolutely must be Agatha Christie's Murder on the Orient Express book because you're gonna be quoting it in the essay, so you need to use that as one of your sources. The other source, I would highly recommend using Dr. Leon Seltzer's article. It's a really good fit for this essay. It has a lot of quotes that will help support an analysis of justice or revenge. It gives you a lot of strong, clear definitions for those terms, which is essential for this essay. So you can absolutely use other sources, but I highly, highly recommend that you use this one, in addition to Agatha Christie's book in your essay. 
here in this subheader, the essay, step-by-step -step instructions for writing the essay, there are literally step-by-step -step instructions for writing the essay. Please watch these videos. I don't want to sound like I'm begging because like your success is up to you. If you don't care about being successful, I can't care enough for you to make you successful. Like, does that make sense? But if you want to be successful in this class, if you want to do well on this essay, you must watch the recorded lecture videos because I kid you not, I will walk you through the whole thing step by step. Please watch it. And I know I'm preaching to the choir because if you're one of the people who watches the weekly overview videos, you're probably also one of the people who is watching all of the recorded lectures. So absolutely kudos for you, round of applause, pat on the back. You are making excellent choices and I'm very proud of you. This is going to help you be successful, not only in the academic environment, but elsewhere if you're utilizing your resources effectively and well. If you're one of the people who would skip these recorded lecture videos, you're probably not even watching this one. So I'm preaching to the choir. <laughs> but please, 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 please watch them. They will help you. I can definitely tell when I'm grading the essays who watched the videos and who didn't. On average, and I've been tracking this for a couple years, the people who watch the essays score at least 10 to 15 percent higher, bare minimum, than the people who didn't. Typically, it's a much wider margin. I would say all of the A essays watched these videos. All the essays that failed did not watch the videos. And I can track who watches the videos. Like I have software on Canvas that tells me who watched the video and not only who watched it, but like who watched the whole thing. So I know exactly who's watching them. So thank you for watching this because I know you're watching it. Good job. Make sure you watch these two. <laughs> all that to say, please watch the videos. Here's the essay prompt and all outline instructions. You're gonna watch this on Tuesday. Here's the walkthrough on how to go from the outline to the essay. I would recommend watching this on Thursday as you begin drafting your essay. And here is a thesis walkthrough. You're gonna watch this on Wednesday when you're doing your thesis statement, right? So I'm actually gonna reorder these so you can see that. This is the one we do on Tuesday. This is the one we do on Wednesday. This is the one we do on Thursday. Make sense? Yes? Yay? Awesome. Uh, if you're curious about how I'm going to be grading your essay, here's a rubric so you know exactly how your points are coming together. Here is the thesis worksheet um, that you're going to be completing on Wednesday. And here is a sample outline that I go over in this lecture and also this lecture that you're going to want to use to compose the first draft of your essay. Clear? Clear as mud. We've got all the resources we need to be successful here. Please utilize those resources as we begin our drafting of this first essay. It's a really fun essay, I think, because we've gotten attached to these characters. Um, we find the conclusion to the novel, and then we're left pondering those big questions we just talked about. And this essay gives us a chance to defend our answer, whether we think the characters acted out of revenge or justice. Why do we think it's one of those terms instead of the other? How do we prove that? And then what does it say about us as humans of like, that's how we act. So really cool things we get to consider here. Everything you need here, watch this video on Tuesday, watch this video on Wednesday, watch this video on Thursday, and you will have the tools you need to be successful in this essay. If you want extra help, please remember that you can utilize the wonderful free resources that CBC has, either with their online writing center or their in-person writing center in the T building. Lots of great resources to help us out. I hope you guys have fun finishing the novel and then digging into the amazing ideas that we've got in the prompt. As always, reach out if you have any questions. I'm here to help.